Anyway, guys, before my dad starts this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified to see the new video. Hi, my name is Carrie Too Smooth. If you're brand new to this channel, go and click the bell to be notified and subscribe, please. And as a rule of thumb, I say watch the videos all the way through and then go back because there's going to be a lot of nuggets and tidbits that I don't want you to miss out on. So I want to go ahead and make sure that you get everything you're supposed to get. So this song is mainly for my church musicians or for those guys that like um, gospel music that want to learn how to play um, songs like Lord Keep Me Day by Day. So I want to show you how to play this song. Now there's a lot of stuff in this song so I want you to really pay attention and make sure that you're not like glossing over it like oh I know it. I want to make sure you, you know how to do it and we're going to show you how to play the chords along with the melody. So I'm going to play in the, in the song in the key of C today. So I'm going to be using a combination of some old school chords like some old school open chords and then some kind of like uh, bar kind of like um, dominant chords. Like some old school if you listen to some quartet those are some of the chords that I'm talking about. So we're going to play that opening lick. So I'm doing a lot of palm muting at the same time. So that triad, that's D triad. So when I'm playing that F, I'm playing it like a, like a triad. But I'm even letting that the E ring up. And I'm letting my, my pinky rest on that B string. So let's do that all over again. I'm doing that triad moving. Down here and do that E dominant. Now you can do this movement right here with that kind of chromatic, or you can do it down here. That movement. Now, for this particular movement in this particular key, I use that chord a lot. I'm letting that E ring out. So it's like almost like I'm playing an A um, G triad. But still letting that high E, I'm letting it. C. D minor seven. And then I'm gonna do A minor 11 chromatic down to G. So let's do that movement all over again. I'm gonna do that kind of movement. So, like an A minor seven. Now the turnaround. Again, there's a lot of things that are going on, so like, let me try to back it up a little bit and slow it back down so I'm gonna make sure that you're grabbing all of the things that I'm saying when I'm playing this. So, again, we're playing in this key of C, but I'll do a lot of like kind of open kind of chord. What I mean by open is sometimes I'll, I'll let certain notes ring out. I'm not pressing, I'm not barring everything. When I play that F, 
minor. Let's do that again. So you know, when I'm doing that, I'm kind of keeping that percussive nature because I'm establishing the rhythm. Unless I'm playing with somebody, if I'm not playing with somebody, I want to establish that rhythm myself. So. Then I need to go into that E and play that melody. So when I'm doing that walk up, so it's going to lead, lead me to my next chord. I'm doing an arpeggiation. This is the turnaround that we want to do towards the end. So that dominant seven. song on one of those old school kind of quartet chords. Okay. So it's a lot of information that was going on in that song. I really want you to make sure that you're paying attention and kind of focus and lock in on that. There's a lot of things that are going on in there. It's really important if you're having problems like transitioning between the stuff, break it down, slow it down so the way you can get it the way that it's supposed to be done. Now, if you like this, like the fact that I'm teaching some gospel stuff, drop a comment. But also, too, you should probably check out, I have a lot of gospel courses, the gospel masterclass on my website called carriescamp.com. So if you go there, there's a lot of different gospel masterclasses where I've had gospel players, gospel guitars that are played for some of the major artists, really break down and do masterclasses. So I definitely want you to check it out. If you love this stuff right here, I go even deeper um, in that stuff right there. So I want to just throw out that little tidbit um, and tell you to check it out. Uh, like I said, again, this is a, one of those old school kind of traditional hymns that you've heard before. You've seen guitar players like Eric Walls that have killed this kind of stuff. I've been asked several times, like, yo, can you break it down? Can you break it down? Can you do it? Um, he does it in the key of E. I, I choose to use C because C has the most real estate for the neck of the guitar to kind of make it more simple. Let's say in the middle of the neck of the guitar, but you can play it's the same kind of transitions. Once you learn the chords and the movements, it's the same in any other key. So hopefully you like this lesson. Um, like you said, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and click the bell to be notified, but subscribe and drop a comment and let me know what kind of songs did you like. If you like this kind of stuff, definitely let me know. I'll start to do a little bit more gospel stuff. All right, y'all have a good one.